All right, for example six, sometimes you notice that in your equation, um, when you solve this, you have two different functions, but since you have, and usually you can use a substitution, but unfortunately you have a sine x and a cosine x, you don't have a sine squared. So whenever you don't have a sine squared, then you're going to have to look at maybe squaring both sides. So if we square both sides here, we're going to have sine x plus 1, 20 squared, equals cosine squared x. So on the left, you're going to get a sine squared x plus 2 sine of x plus 1. And what we can do on the right is we can use a substitution for the cosine squared x. And if you substitute in 1 minus sine squared x from your Pythagorean triples or identities, then we need to set this equation equal to 0. So what you can do is you can subtract 1 of both sides. You can also add sine squared x to both sides. And so then what we end up with is a sine, 2 sine squared x plus a 2 sine of x and that is going to end up equaling 0. So what you can do now is you can factor out GCF because this looks a little bit nicer now. Take out 2 sine of x that's going to give you a sine of x plus 1 equals 0. So set each of these equal to 0 you get 2 sine of x equals 0 and sine of x plus 1 equals 0. So in this case you get where sine of x equals 0 and in this case you're going to have where sine of x is equal to a negative 1. So the nice thing is we only have four points on our uh, calculator that has 1's and zeros, and that'd be at 0, pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2. So we only need the places. So in our circle we have three places um, where your sine of x is a 0, your sine of x is a negative 1 total. Alright, so if we look at our circle, then if we have these four points around our circle, um, we also have the ordered pairs of 1, 0, we have negative 1, 0, we also have 0, negative 1, and 0, 1. So since we need to find two places where sine of x is equal to 0, that would be at 0 and pi. And then we would also have the ordered pair, or the place where sine of x is equal to negative 1, that was only at 3 pi over 2. And so since the, it tells us we only need to find them on the interval, we don't have to add an n pi or 2 n pi or anything like that, here are your three solutions.